Hi everyone, hi Nick. I have another finished journal to share with you. This is a hardcover, hardcover journal. Um, it's about eight and a quarter by <clears throat> um, five and a half ish around there. Uh, three Sonian signatures. The cover is just uh, craft cardstock, and I inked it with um, vintage photo and I just kind of let it get kind of spotty and so I just wanted it to look sort of rustic. Um, let's see there's three, let's see from the bottom better, there's three signatures. Um, it's very thready. I left all the I left all the threads. Um, those of course can be cut off. There's lots of tabs, lace tabs and there's a paper clips with ribbon, seam binding. Um, same thing on the um, on the edges of the pages, and some of the tabs have little jingly bobs hanging off of them, buttons and bells and so forth. We have eyelet and seam binding closure on and on the cover. This is a picture from one of the Edith Holden books, which I trimmed down a little bit. Um, sewed around the edge and I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up or not but it has been stickled and the butterflies have been glossy accented. I have a book plate um, with the title Imagine in there and that's loose, can be removed and actually just flip it over, it's blank on the other side. Um, and that's actually covering up where the page said July. So the original paper so I had to cover it up. Um, so um, that can be if you don't want it to be um, titled Imagine, flip it over and you know use your own title. And I have some um, a lot of glue strings apparently, and um, just some vintage buttons just to because I get look at it and it's going. Yep, needs something. Uh, this is a nature themed journal, and thanks to Renee from. Uh, GT Designs on Etsy um, for the fantastic kit that she was offering. Um, there's enough in there for probably, oh gosh, 10 journals in in the kits. The kit that she sent me, um, it's, it's amazing. If you've never gone and checked out her shop, she curates some fabulous um, journal kits. Uh, she scrounges estate sales and so forth with her mom and um, <clears throat> she has she has some really really amazing paper a lot of paper goods and, and things is really cool stuff um, and she that's where I get my uh, coffee dyed paper as well so she sells that in bundles as well as the kit she curates and other little bits and bobs that she and her husband uh, come up with so there's three signatures let's hop inside here if I can get this undone um, the printables are Pretty sure they're all from Artie Mays. Um, it's a little of this and a little of that, but the pages are her eco dyed. Of course, I've got this all tangled. Like her eco dyed set of papers, which I've never used. Well, maybe we're not gonna go inside because I've got a tangled up spaghetti junction. Here we go. Um, I've never used anything like that before, and now I pulled a paper clip off. Great. That's because I've only had one cup of coffee. Let's see if I can figure out where that goes. Um, never used anything like this before, but they're really neat. Um, quite neutral, and they have you know, leaves and there's flowers. Um, I don't know how she did it. I have no idea how to eco dye, but they're really neat. I left the front and back inside covers blank, so you can use that for writing space. Stitch down all the printables. And we have pockets and tucks and tags and ephemera. Um, this is kind of a idea that I borrowed from um, Nick the Booksmith when she was doing the peekaboo pockets. Um, I just kind of did a peekaboo. This kind of a pocket. Um, it's a glassine bag that was too big to use here. And then I cut it and I made a mistake. And so then I don't want to waste it. So I just cut the, it's, one, it's a big bag, so I cut it up and sewed some of it onto this Edith Holden page, and I'm going to do that again. Um, these are all Artie Mays from different 
floral kits, I tried to just tried to find things that kind of had yellows and whatnot. All of the um, extra pages, they're all from Renee's shop. Um, it's all botanical related. This is from a paper pad called hmm, Simple Stories, I think. And I probably got it at Hobby Lobby. And these are exactly the right colors for this journal. So I put some of those in there. This envelope, that's avocado dyed, I'm pretty sure. You can tuck under here. And that's a, just a mason jar. And on the back, I folded the flap back um, to make a little tuck spot. So you can tuck under the paper clip, you can tuck under here. But I had to put the paper clip on because it wasn't tight enough. It's some little envelopes out of um, Edith Holden pages because sometimes when you cut the book apart, you get singlies. So I did that with my punch board. It's like a perpetual calendar from Edith Holden. Um, these flip up and they're probably, oh, of course they are, glued down, of course. Edith Holden pages, tags, paper bag, um, like a wax paper brown glassine bag, dictionary, um, just a tag, and this is just a, just a piece of ephemera. Am I even in frame? Yes, I guess I am. Some more um, the botanical pages that Renee sent. Clip with our pin with a little bell, a little botanical there, and another larger one. Of course, now my fingers don't want to work. I tried to use some of my odds and ends of some of the heavy, uh, darker dyed, coffee dyed paper. It's a side pocket and a journaling card. Altered paper clip with a Journal spot it's upside down, journal spot under there. So I tried to use some of the darker paper that I have. It's a craft tag that I've had forever. So I'm trying to clean in here <clears throat> a little at a time. Oops, forgot to put something under there. A little top tuck there. Just double fold out. Pocket. I use some of the ephemera um, for pockets. Lots of space to write. Did a little bit of stenciling, just really lightly. Another side pocket. These are all printed on um, like a cream, ecru colored cardstock. Makes them look a little bit more aged without having to actually coffee dye. Uh, book page pocket with of ephemera and then there's a little spot here and this is a Tim Holtz dictionary oh, paper bag which I need to cut open I'll do that after um, another paper bag that I just embellished there's a tag in there and a journal card behind it coloring another envelope same thing it's the flap and on this side, just some ephemera and a journal card. Tuck spot with a tag. Side tuck. Oops. Um, mason jar. And then the middle section is all blank. It's just coffee dyed paper. And there's probably you know, 30. 40 pages here. Um, can be embellished, obviously, or just used for just a lot of writing. So that whole, the whole center signature is just blank coffee dyed paper. That's all been sewn on all the edges. And there's a third signature with another flip up and a tag card. Another envelope, some ephemera. Got a little piece in here. There's a book page. 
pocket there. Made an envelope. Another, <clears throat> excuse me, side cut. Allergies. Ugh. The pollen. The last few days, the pollen has come out. It's decided to be spring. Um, book page pocket with a tag and a little Tim Holtz. Just want to stay in there. Pocket with an inventory tag that I got from Junk That Treasures and a library card from Artie Mees. From whatever kit most of this came from. I just had it all, it was all cut out and in my tub and I just used it. Um, glassine bag and it gusseted so you can put a ton of stuff in that one. Another tag. And a craft tag and another altered paper clip. Some coloring, dictionary, all the pages are similar to the um, front sig first signature. It's the middle ticket. Another Nick Peekaboo pocket with a tag and a journal card. Side pocket with a Tim Holtz. I'm drifting off here. Another tag tuck with a piece of ephemera. Another paper bag that I need to cut open. It's the other side. Tuck with a tag that's just an old um, manila folder. Fold out. Top tuck with a card, journal card. Another talk, um, another big ticket with a another card, another envelope. That's just embellishment. Um, yeah, mason jar. That's what that's called. And another journal card. And here's another glassine bag. Tuck underneath. There's a big tag in there, and that's all just, just embellishment, so you can tuck underneath there. And that is this one. Okay, this will be listed in the shop. I will link it below. I will also link um, Renee's shop down there as well. Um, so if you're interested, you can hop on over there and check everything out, and I will see you next time with another journal. Thanks for watching. Bye!